Oh my goodness. I had so many questions when I first got my A-liner. I watched every YouTube video on A-liners. I watched, I read everything. Um, there was just so much to learn. And um, so today's video, I think I'm going to show how I learned how to light the propane pilot for my refrigerator. So when I went boondocking, I could use the gas to run my refrigerator. Your three-way refrigerator in your A-liner can run on either propane, electric, or battery. You can only have one going at a time. So if you're on propane and you have this turned on, make sure these are turned off. If you want to run it on electric and you have it plugged into shore power, turn this to the on position. If you are out on the road and you want to run it off your 12 volt battery, turn it, turn the red one on. But make sure this is turned off and make sure this is off. So that's what I've learned on, on all of my research and that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to, it's pretty easy to use actually after you've done hours and hours and hours of research. <laughs> anyway, hope this was helpful. Okay, all my neighbors are doing their yard work right now, but I'm gonna try to do my video anyway. So I pulled my trailer out and I wanna make sure it's level before I um, start the refrigerator. So I have this bubble level on my um, frame and I have, you can see if the bubble, well, you can see by the little round spot. If the bubble is on that side of the zero, I know I have to raise this side of the trailer. The bubble is on this side of the zero. I know I have to raise that side of the trailer. So I'm a little bit off. I'm off center by one degree. I'm gonna try to add one of these to the, what is that? The left side of my, my left wheel to see if I can get that to come to zero. So I'm gonna go put this under the tire and then I'm going to drive up on it and see if that levels me to the zero. That's not much of a raise, so we'll see. Beautiful, got it up on one, and I'm sitting right at zero, exactly where I wanna be. Okay, I have her out in the driveway, chalked my wheels. I'm gonna take the covers off my refrigerator vent. And one of the videos, one of the earlier videos that I was watching on A-Frames is how often these covers get blown off going down the highway because the little plastic clips aren't set or they break off. So I replaced mine with these little thumb twist washers. And I got these from Chris Mandola and that's another video. But I'm gonna take the doors off. Now when you're lighting your three-way refrigerator on gas, you don't have to take both doors off. You only need to take the bottom one off. The only reason I'm taking both off is to show you what's behind them so that you remember, you don't have to take the top one off, but you might in inevitably take the wrong one off. You got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. I finally got it locked into my head that it's the bottom one I need to take off. But for this video, I'm leaving the top one open because I wanna have access to this chimney. And I think when the pilot is lit, I'll be able to feel heat coming out of that. So I'm gonna go turn on the gas at my propane tank. Okay, opening the valve on the propane tank all the way to as far as it'll go to the open position okay hallelujah they stopped okay so i'm turning the knob to gap to high and i'm gonna keep holding it down i'm gonna hold it down there for a second and let the air get out of the gas lines and i'm gonna start pushing this igniter button until i hear a whoosh of fire all right i hear it I heard it whoosh, I heard it start, I'm still holding down the button. Now, I'm gonna slowly let it up. Now, I don't know for sure if it kept the flame lit in there. This is the part where you kinda have to do it a few times. I don't feel any heat in here. All right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna wait a couple, oops. I'll wait a couple seconds. Sorry about that. Turn it, I'm gonna turn it back off. Okay, so I waited a couple minutes. I don't feel any heat coming from the chimney up here. And I don't feel any heat coming from this. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn it back to high. Hold it down, keep holding it down. 
press this button until it clicks. Oops, sorry. Hold it. Until it. There, did you hear that? All those darn neighbors. All right. It's probably still lit, so I'm going to slowly lift this up. And then the theory is that the pilot light is lit in there and eventually I'll feel heat coming off of this little chimney. Some videos say that you can look in this little peak hole, peak hole and maybe see a blue flame, but I can't. I couldn't when it was lit last time. So I'm just giving it a couple of minutes to see if it heats up. It doesn't really feel like it's getting, actually it does. No. It does kind of feel like it's heating up. Maybe it's wishful thinking on my part. But all the research I did showed that you had to do this a few times, sometimes a bunch of times, but when I was doing docking, I didn't have to do it very many times. It lit right up for me, so I was lucky. All right, this time when I push the button, I can still hear the fire. I can hear it in there. So I am going to slowly lift this up. And yes, I can still hear the fire in there. And I can definitely feel heat coming out of the chimney. Okay, beautiful. So now you know how to light your propane refrigerator. I'm gonna leave it set as it is. Um, historically, when I've left it on the coldest setting, the food in the refrigerator at the bottom did freeze. So I've done some more research and there's a little battery operated fan that you can put in the bottom of your refrigerator to help move the air around. And I will grab that and I'll add a picture of that to the end of the video. All right, there you have it. How to hook up your three-way refrigerator on your A-liner when you're out boondocking. Now I'm doing this in my driveway. Normally you'd be doing it at camp after your trailer was all set up and leveled and ready to go. And you would put your vent covers back on and leave it set as it is. The refrigerator will get cold. The propane works really well. And before I go boondocking, I do have it set up in my garage. I have it hooked up to 120. I have my refrigerator getting cold before I leave. And you can turn it off of 120 and put it on 12 volt if you want to run it off the battery while you're traveling. I'm not usually camping very far from home, so I don't do that. I use um, frozen water bottles that I put in my refrigerator um, when I'm traveling. So I'll unhook it from power, pack up my cold food and my frozen bottles and travel down the road. And when I get to camp, then I will turn it to propane and fire up the propane and keep it cold that way. And that's been successful for me other than the freezing food, but we'll get a fan to resolve that. Hope this helps. I guess the other thing I should run you through is when you're done camping, you want to turn the propane off at the tank before you turn it off at the refrigerator. That'll just let that last little bit of gas burn out of the lines before you um, unhook it. So my refrigerator is still running on propane. I am going to close my propane tank. Let's see, close is that way. So I'm going to close it all the way down so the gas goes off. Tight. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn my refrigerator off. But now the propane is off, the electric's off, and the gas is off, or the battery's off. Now I'll put my vents back on and put her back in the garage. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments, add them at the bottom. Thanks!